Welcome to Step Into the Story. Incredible conversations of how the Bible changes lives, changes families, and changes communities across the globe. And here's your host, Phil Tuttle of Walk Through the Bible. So welcome to Step Into the Story minicast. Um, I just had the opportunity to sit down with Stephen Curtis Chapman and at least begin to explore the long career that he's had in Christian music, but also the deep life experiences that he's been through. I hope that you'll listen to that full interview. But but Stephen, um, when you really kind of rocked the Christian world with the Great Adventure video, that there had been a few other Christian videos. Most of them were just so, so boring. I got to tell you that. <laughs> and, and that one like grabbed my heart. Um, but but tell us the behind-the-scenes story. I hear you had um, quite a relationship that had to develop between you and the and the horse that that you yeah. were on for that. Um, take us into that wonderful opportunity that God entrusted you with. Yes, um, yeah. About well, uh, when I first found out, um, you know, I was going to get to do a music video. I was elated. I'd written this song. Uh, the great adventure, saddle up your horses. We got a trail to blaze. It was kind of written from this place that I'd been actually really a, a, in a dark place and just feeling the weight of the world and feeling like, am I, am I doing any of this right as a husband, a father, uh, um, in, in ministry and my music and just all of the kind of places I felt like I was failing and not doing well. And, and I had some brothers and pastors and friends just really encouraged me uh, one day as I met with them and just kind of poured my heart out and my tears. And, and I walked out of that room just so encouraged with grace, the grace of God and what it, what it, the story it tells that I just walked out and was like, I got to write a song that just says what I feel right now. So, man, I'm ready to just let's saddle up our horses. Come on, let's blaze a trail. It's going to get crazy. It's going to be scary, but we're going to follow our leader. He knows where we're going and it's going to be a great adventure. This life of faith, man, it's going to be uh, best and, and, and dark and, and sunny and mountains and valleys, but, but God is leading us and it's going to be uh, an adventure that we're invited into. That's what the life of faith is. So I write this song. Well, my record label, man, love it. It's an awesome song. Let's go make a music video. I'd never done that. I'm so excited to get to make a music video. So we're going to the Grand Teton National Park out in the Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Never been there. Beautiful. Mountains are it's still covered in snow. It's uh, it's early in the spring, um, and uh, and they bring horses down from winter pasture. They hadn't had anybody on them for several months because they had been pastured for the winter. And they come down and they say, "Now, Steve, you're going to ride a horse in this video." <laughs> and I and I immediately said, "Wait a minute, I didn't. Where is that in the contract? You know, because I know I wrote the song about saddling up your horses, but." This is where the stunt double comes in and actually saddles up the real horse. I'm Metaphorically talking, speaking. Yeah. It's Metaphorically a, yeah, yeah, yeah. speaking, yes. Yeah, because as a kid, I'd ridden, you know, a few times, and it usually had been, you know, a horse that was attached to a little bar in a in the carnival that went around in a circle along with all the other horses, you know. Oh and that was, that was my speed. Or it was a trail ride where horses just kind of followed the one in front of it. Never, you know just get on a horse and, you know, kick it in the high gear and take off across the field. Um, so that was the plan. Well, this horse didn't want me on his back. I didn't really want to be there. And apparently horses are so, uh, sent, they sense yes, fear. They, they do. sense yep. someone who doesn't know what they're doing. So they had me read like a book. I mean, they were like, this guy has no idea what he's getting himself into. And we're going to take him for the ride of his life. So I had this horse. He took off. He he ran straight for the uh, the the trailer that they brought him down in, and full speed. What I didn't know is horses can turn on a dime. So I'm thinking this horse, and I'm pulling, I'm woeing him, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. He's full speed at the trailer, this big horse trailer, and I'm thinking, great, he's gonna kill himself and me all in one fell swoop. He's gonna just run smack into this trailer. I'm gonna be on his back. And right when he got to the trailer, he turned and made a quick left turn and then stood at the back of the trailer, like, put me back on here, get this guy off. So that was the beginning of my day. So from there, it somehow, all I can say is if you see the music video, um, 
I stayed on him. He never got rid of me. He tried a few times and uh, I hung on for dear life, literally. And the beauty of, uh, you know, the, the magic of movies is you can make it look like I really knew what I was doing um, just with editing things together. If you had the soundtrack of what was really <laughs> happening, half the time I was saying, help me. But in the, in the video, it looks like, Yahoo, you know, so uh, it, it was, uh, it was <laughs> a crazy day, but somehow I, uh, I, I lived to tell and, uh, and continue to sing the song, but um, I'm not really uh, having any need to saddle up my horse again anytime soon. Oh man, my name Philip means lover of horses. My parents <laughs> missed on wow. that one. Um, my family will drag me out sometimes on vacation. My last three horses, they always pull like these ones who flunked out from remedial Clydesdale training <laughs> out of the back pen. My last three horses have been Sarge and Brutus and Satan. So I'm I'm feeling nice. Oh great. I'm feeling your pain there. If you haven't seen that video ever, if you're younger or this brings back memories, go watch it again now that you know the backstory to it. And by all means, check out the full conversation that Steve and I shared on Step Into the Story. Um, I know that it will encourage you. Thank you for joining us for the Step Into the Story podcast, powered by Walk Through the Bible. We'd love to hear what you think by giving us a review on iTunes or Google Play. Also, don't miss a single episode by clicking the subscribe button. If you'd like more resources to help you explore and live God's word in your daily life, visit walkthrough.org. That's W-A-L-K-T-H-R-U dot O-R-G. Walk through the Bible. Take a walk. Change the world.